Module 5, Lesson 3, Homework. Number 1, use the prisms to find the volume. The rectangular prisms pictured below were constructed with 1 centimeter cubes. So that is saying that each one of these individual cubes right here is a 1 centimeter cube. So we can just count them up to figure out how many cubes are in the total prism, which will tell us the volume. Decompose each prism into layers in three different ways and show your thinking on the blank prisms. Complete each table. So we're going to use this one rectangular prism and decompose it three different ways. So I'm going to start by just decomposing it into horizontal layers. So because it's just it's the first thing that pops out of me is to do it horizontally. So if I do it horizontally, we have one, two layers. And in each layer, let's look at the model, we have one, two, three, four, and then four rows of three or three rows of four. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cubes in each layer, which is twenty-four. Two times twelve is twenty-four cent cubic centimeters. So another way we could decompose it is vertically. So there's one layer and another one and another one so that we would have four layers. So there's one, two, three, four layers. And in each layer, looking at this section, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six cubes in each layer, which would give us 24 cubic centimeters. And then the last way to divide it into layers would be from the side view. So there we have three layers. It's getting a little busy, a little harder to look at. So we have three layers. One, two, three. And in each layer, we can see from the front, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes in each layer. Three times eight is 24. So we have 24 cubic centimeters. Now notice all of these have the same volume because we're all talking about the same cube. So if you got like 24, 18, and 32, for example, we'd be talking about three completely different rectangular prisms, but here we're just, they should all be the same because it's all the same prism. So let's do B. I'm going to start again by doing it horizontally. So we have five layers here. One, two, three, four, five layers. And in each layer, we have one, two, three, four, five, six cubes, which would give us 30 total cubes. Another way we could do it would be vertically. And I see three layers vertically. One, two, three layers. And in each of those layers, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cubes. So three layers, ten cubes would be 30 total cubes. And the last way to do it is from the side. So there's just two layers. So we have one, two layers, and in each layer we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So three, not three, two layers. 15 in each layer would be 30 cent cubic centimeters. So again, all of these volumes are the same because it's the same rectangular prism. Number two, Stephen and Chelsea want to increase the volume of this prism by 72 cubic centimeters. Chelsea wants to add eight layers, and Stephen says they only need to add four layers. Their teacher tells them they are both correct. Explain how this is possible. So let's start with Chelsea's way. So Chelsea wants to add eight layers. So the first thing that I think to do is to take the 72 cubes and divide it by eight so that we know how many layers we're talking about. So if there's eight layers, then that would be nine cubes per layer. 
And then we can look at this cube and see that this angle right here has nine cubes in each layer. So if we did it this way, this right here is one layer. So we could add, so Chelsea is thinking that we're gonna add eight layers of nine cubes. And then that would work. That would add 72 because eight times nine equals 72 cubes. Now let's see, Steven wants to add four layers. So let's do 72 divided by four. I don't know that off the top of my head. So I'm gonna divide, four goes into seven one time. One times four is four, subtract bring down the two, we have 32, four goes into 32 eight times, eight times four is 32. So he's saying that there would be 18 cubes per layer. And this front layer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So he's thinking that we can divide it like this so that this whole front portion is one layer. He's going to add four layers of 18 cubes. So his way will also work because four times 18 is equal to 72. It's just going to be adding them in a different way. So they'll end up with two completely different rectangular prisms, but they will have the same volume. Number three, Juliana makes a prism four inches across and four inches wide, but only one inch tall. She then decides to create layers equal to her first one. Fill in the chart below and explain how you know the volume of each new prism. So she makes a prism that's four inches across and four inches wide, but one inch tall. So there's four inches across and then four inches wide, but one inch tall. So hers is gonna look some similar to that. I know it's not the best picture, but so that's one layer. And there would be, if we count it up, there's 16 cubes in one layer, as you can see above. Now, if we had three layers of that, it would be 16 times three. So 16 times three is equal to 48. So the volume would be 48 centimeters cubed because 16 times three equals 48. Or three, better explanation would be three layers of 16 cubes. So if we had five layers, that'd be 16 times five, or 80, because we have five layers of 16 equals 80 cubes. And if we had seven, we'd have 16 times seven, six times seven is 42, Seven times one is seven plus four is 11. We'd have 112 centimeters cubed. So seven layers of 16 is equal to 112 cubes. So that's how the volume would change based on the number of layers. Number four, imagine the rectangular prism below is four meters long. So it's four meters long, three meters tall, and two meters wide. Draw horizontal lines to show how the prism could be decomposed into layers that are one meter in height. So we're gonna draw horizontal lines to show how it could be decomposed into layers that are one meter in height. So it's three meters tall. So we're gonna draw just like that. So each of those layers are one meter 
So it has three layers from top to bottom. Here's our one, two, three layers from top to bottom. Each horizontal layer contains how many cubic meters? Well, if it's four by two, four times two is equal to eight. So each layer contains eight cubic meters and the volume of the prism, so if there's eight in the bottom, eight in the bottom layer, times three layers, eight times three is 24, the volume of the prism would be 24 centimeters cubed.